that the God's presence in our midst. Just like he promised. Two or three gathered in my name, I will be there. Hallelujah. We can be reassured that whether anybody is here or not. Amen. People know, uh, my friends know, and my church knows I have preached with uh, very few. Uh, and they know even if there is nobody, I preach like the thousands of people are here. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I know who is in our midst. Because he is in our midst. Hallelujah. We had a wonderful uh, last weekend that uh, we had a great time of his presence. And God did a great work in all of our life. It's a thing about when you look back and we can say that because of all of your prayers. It is a, a, every person, we are together, uh, believed it, together experienced, every one of us experienced a touch of God. I don't know about you all, I felt it. And uh, I am very excited to serve the Lord, to do what God is asking us to do more than ever, more assurance. And uh, that God has given, that God has called us for such a time as this, for to do his work. So tonight, today, this morning, that uh, God put in my heart early morning, that to speak about the authority, spiritual authority. So... We are going to, we have a great time. We experienced, we were fasting and praying. We received the power. And for, with the authority that is God is handing over. So though God has very clearly spoke to us, we have a work to do. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the season of harvest. That's what we have fasted and prayed to receive the power. Once you receive the power. The God is commissioning his people to do his work. So let us uh, turn with me, Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20. Everybody very, I know, uh, familiar with this uh, verses. And also, this is a very important, the last word of God, of Jesus, our Savior. You know, when, uh, very important when anybody die or anything, they, people ask, what did they say last, you know? Everybody like to hear what is the last thing, if your dad or mom, you know, if they are not there, you know, uh, my uh, son just gone for a funeral for his uh, father-in-law's, the first thing I ask, what did the last moment, let us hear what he said, you know, want to hear that. So the uh, once when we know Jesus, we we'll start loving him. We pay attention to everything he speaks, especially the last word that he has spoken to his people, you know, to his disciples. Let us turn with me that Matthew 28. Can somebody read it for me? 18 onwards. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, all power is given to me in heaven and in earth. Can go go you therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Mm. Uh, one more more, 20, till 20. It's not there, ah, 20th verse. Teaching them to observe all that I commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. Praise the Lord. The last thing then, he is getting ready to be in the Father's place. He is, all the three and a half years they were walking with the disciples. And, you know, he, he taught them. And, you know, after he died, he appeared to more than 500 people in various places. And he, did, he even appeared to his own disciples and started teaching them. 40 days he was with them, trying to teach them. And the last he's telling that. He's handing over his authority and the power to his disciples. Amen. So what we are doing, God is asking us to do, is being started the commission to go and disciple others, which Jesus has already started. 
Amen. It's just like a relay baton. He is handing over. Amen. Hallelujah. To finish that race, you know, because the only reason that Jesus has not come back to receive his church, his people, because he just giving an opportunity for more people to come to the knowledge of God. I'm realizing more than ever that, you know, more, you know, it's okay to speak to believers and, you know, say, come on, come on. You know, uh, they're taking their own time. I feel that, you know, come on, there are people who are hungry and thirst out there. Desperate to know what is truth. They wanted to get experience the deliverance. They are in the bondage. They need to be experience the uh, freedom. They are crying out. So our this uh, time is limited, so uh, we need to really focus on where these people, it is all around us, in our neighborhoods. But we need to have the eyes to see. Hallelujah. We can be so caught up in our own world. Many times, you know, I don't know about you. Nowadays, my boys uh, do the work of going to Walmart and doing the grocery for me. There are times I go to groceries, you know, I uh, go to Walmart. I just, I know where the aisles, where is the uh, thing I want. I'm so focused. I just go there, take it and go. And, you know, I just uh, uh, go back so that I can continue with my own stuff. My own things to do. But God is telling that. There are certain times that we have urgency in our heart to go something, do something. There is more than just that. There are divine appointments around, so the, we need to have an eyes. God, are you are sending me. Is there anything else that I need to do? We need to be always asking God, what else, what, what do you want me to do? Hallelujah. If we ask, he will show us. And he's telling that because, you know, so much of uh, hopelessness is gripping in the hearts of people. People are, you know, looking for desperate answer. And we are the uh, ones who we are, uh, you know, got the authority and the power, everything of the God, what we are doing about it. When we say we are the believers, we are so close to Jesus. We have been filled with the Holy Spirit. We got everything uh, and God is asking, okay, what you are doing about it? Amen. When did you last uh, prayed for a lame and started walking? Hallelujah. When did you last, when you have that authority to blind in the name of Jesus, uh, to blind to see uh, and to deaf to hear, uh, God is asking these days, uh, when did with that authority operating, manifesting in us and through us? Because we need to, if it's not, we need to start saying, hallelujah. Then something we, uh, you know, authority, we are not activated as. We need to get activated. Hallelujah. Because we claim that we have that authority. Amen. And, you know, we claim that, you know, we have received it. Are we able to see it? If it's not, God is tearing our hearts. Ask him. Hallelujah. God, hallelujah. Oh, I need to start seeing things to happen. Because he, after giving the authority, and then, then he's saying, go ye, you. Therefore, why? Come on. Why is saying go ye, ye, go you, or uh, many uh, translation? Therefore, therefore, for, uh, why therefore? The verse 18. I am giving you my authority. Hallelujah. You need to understand. Given to me all power that God has given to me. Hallelujah. I am transferring. We need to understand Jesus could not do it. He, whatever he did it, because it handed the authority of what we are talking about. It's been received from the Father. Hallelujah. Let us read Acts chapter 10, 38. We need to understand 
even Jesus needed to receive the anointing and authority and the power from above, from God. And then that is why he able to finish it. Okay, let's read 1038. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Amen. The word oppressed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many times we are not realizing the powers of darkness is oppressing God's people. And not able to do things that we need to do. What is that is between the Old Testament and New Testament. We can very clearly telling uh, and we can see that in New Testament with the authority and the power that God is giving Jesus very specifically to cast the demon and to hallelujah authority over the powers of the darkness. Hallelujah. That is why, why he has given only through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And that is why, let us, I wanted us to understand, he is very God, the Father, anointed his son, Jesus, of Nazareth, with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Holy Ghost was there from the creation itself. When everything was empty, the, power, the Spirit of God was hovering over the water. Hallelujah. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, you know, it was all there from the beginning. And it is written in the one, uh, Genesis 1, 27, He made us in their image. Not the, their, who are they? The image of, you know, God has, uh, uh, his own image, uh, 26, I think, the verse, uh, their image. It is not just, uh, you know, translate, uh, uh, repeating that in the chapter that you can see that, chapter 2, uh, 26. Uh. Our image, God said, let us make Even though we know Jesus Christ more than the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ lived the three and a half years as a believer. We know more about Jesus Christ. But we, God wants to know that whatever the operated and able to do in the creation. We need to know and experience the power of the Holy Spirit. Because with the Holy Ghost and the creation has happened. Now creating miracles and things to happen. We need the power of the Holy Ghost. The creation, he was there. And, you know, we need to understand also this same power that God anointed Jesus. And this same anointing, we need to understand, if you look at Romans chapter 8, 11. Romans chapter 8, 11. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies Praise by the his Lord. spirit that dwells in you. Amen. So, who the same Holy Ghost, he has helped in the creation. Amen. Helped in the, I uh, need to understand, helped Jesus Christ to do, you know, all the works. To power over the powers of the darkness. And to do cure uh, all the sickness. We need to understand the same spirit. The Holy Ghost. He's helped Jesus from the dead to rise on the third day. Hallelujah. And if you know, need to understand. In the first Thessalonians chapter 5. You can see that the same spirit. That is in us. Going to help us. When the trumpet calls, hallelujah, oh hallelujah, the same spirit that helped Jesus.
Jesus to rise from the dead. Oh, on the trumpet to call. That same spirit will enable us to go like a rocket. Hallelujah. Amen. Against the gravity, take off. Hallelujah. To meet with him. We will be transformed and to be that same spirit will make us like him. A new body, no new form. Be like the same way in his image. The same God who created going to be working in us. The Holy Spirit working in us on the day of the trumpet. We are the spirit in us going to change us and going to help us to take off. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Jesus, when he was dead, I, 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 I started getting a grip. Many times we think he's a son of God. Because of that third day, just got up and rose. Very specifically telling the Holy Spirit has helped him to rise on the third day. Hallelujah. The same spirit is in us. Hallelujah. The same spirit that, that is the Jesus who uh, rose from the dead. He's handing over the uh, authority to us. Amen. This is, we need to understand the authority God has given us. Once we know the power and the authority, then only we can work with it. Hallelujah. Go out and to be, hallelujah, see things happen. Luke chapter 9, verse 1. And then, what is it? You go and heal. Come on. Huh? He sent them to preach and said, and to heal the sick. If you look at the chapter 10, he's saying, he sent them. And telling them, you go and heal. I don't know about you, many times, you know, we quite often say to people who are getting ready to pray for the sick, we will tell them, you need to remember I am not the one who heals. Jesus is. Hallelujah. Jesus is the one who heals. So in case if I pray, nothing happens. I am not to be blamed. In, indirectly telling. <laughs> Hallelujah. We are indirectly letting them know. <laughs> that is why in the hospital also, before doing any procedures, surgeons all come. Yeah, tell, you know, there are chances are there. We are like that. Tell them the chances of, you know, remember, it's not me who are God. It's not that. Hallelujah. We speak with authority. It will. Whatever we loosen in this earth will be loosened. Hallelujah. This authority, we have it only by relationship. Amen. Hallelujah. This authority, we can operate. We need to operate according to the unction of the spirit. He will direct us. That's why don't quicken and lay hands on anybody. You need to hear that is relationship. He will direct us. Hallelujah. Why things are not happening? We, we have authority, so we try to rush, so rush to lay hands on the people. Hallelujah. We need to be guided by the Holy Spirit. If God has sent you, hallelujah, I sent you, hallelujah, to heal the sick. When God sent you, you will see the results because of the relationship with God and you and being guided by the same Holy Spirit who is working through. I can do all things through Jesus Christ. I am more than conqueror through Jesus Christ. It is work through you. And he is a spirit. He needs your hand. He needs your mouth. He works through you and me. If somebody has to work through and me, we need to have a close relationship. Hallelujah. Jesus said, that is why we've been... Uh, get ready. 
we ladies uh, uh, bible study we are getting ready to speak uh, that uh, learn about healing in our tongue that we are going to ready because when we are speaking things to happen so we need to get our tongue you know being cleansed and make sure that our tongue use it only for the you know <laughs> for the glory of god hallelujah uplifting for the uh, people and encouraging others so we need that hallelujah god to touch our lips and cleanse it so i encourage everyone ladies we are getting within two weeks isn't it yes uh, james we are finishing the book of james and uh, even then you can start coming thursday come on revival happens and work things by you know how we know our church is in revival you know look at the number come for the bible study look at the, the people come for the prayer then we know it is we are in revival the hunger for the word hunger for the you know the fire comes after meditating the word of god and uh, god let god do that hallelujah here we need to understand that relationship how we get to know his will through the word of god by studying by by the holy spirit the word and the holy spirit you are keeping the relationship making it stronger hallelujah there is no gimmicks or no <laughs> shortcut only by through prayer by uh, spending time with the lord by studying the word of god that we will come to know the will of god and we will have that greater relationship amen hallelujah so that relationship when you have jesus is said that is why i didn't have a, a whatever i spoke that is from the what, what my father has uh, g- given to me in the, uh, john t- uh, talking about the gospel of john jesus was very sure that whatever i spoke it's been you know given by my father that means what he opened the mouth whatever the words it's been hallelujah that is why it been spoken by the lord hallelujah that is why god who gave two years how many mouth you got are you sure anybody have more than one let me know let me know huh? so that means you need to get it one mouth one tongue why we are supposed to speak only half of what we hear hallelujah for that we need grace we need his power hallelujah self like to want to say something i don't know about you i'm a person like to speak and uh, let the people know what i feel here i wanted to defend myself god said that is not working if you want to work in my kingdom in my kingdom my kingdom principle you have to follow not in your principle you are my authority i give to people whom i can defend they will not speak everything what they feel God's authority giving he gives to people who he can defend he can count on it hallelujah are we dependable god to say that you know to depend on ourselves if we will not be speak whatever we feel like hallelujah so you know if you are a, a, a dangerous person you you know even a gun you know if you are give a gun to somebody who has no control shoot everybody yeah then you you can't defend that people can you because if you uh, if you go and uh, damage people hallelujah because his tongue has can uh, power for life and death if you wrongly use it will be affected badly also so we need to be god should be understand that our kingdom principle we have to follow that is for who will teach the holy spirit directed by the holy spirit guided by the holy spirit that is why we are the people of god need to know how to discipline ourselves to be a people who are being submitted to the god that is why james talking about you submit to god then you resist the enemy 
Satan will flee from you. Sheba's she, uh, Sheba, children, seven children. In Acts chapter, you know, everything you can read. They thought Paul is casting demons. They thought, oh wow, we can make money out of this. It's a good business. Some people do as a good business, kingdom. But they will uh, later on see that, you know, they have been, got hurt. This is not a business. It's God's business, God's kingdom. They thought they can make some business out of it. They tried and said, whatever the name of Paul says. Huh? They tried to say, and the sheep told the uh, demon, demon knows who are the ones who really walk with the Lord. He will come out, he will say, hey, hey, he will not come out. <laughs> I had one experience. I was praying for somebody. I said, cast demon out. And the lady started laughing. <laughs> and I said, why are you laughing? Come out. If she is not ready. That the demon said, she is not ready. She is not given up everything. Hallelujah. Things of the life. So I, can, I am not going, even if, even if you are saying that she wants me here. I can't come out. I don't have to come out. So that is why it's so important. We need to commit everything. Repent and confess all our sins. Hallelujah. So that Satan has no authority over us. And we, that is why when we do deliverance, we say, you have no legal right. After they confess, after they pray, we'll say, come on. Now they have confessed. God has forgiven them. And they know they have, now you don't have no authority. You come out in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So we need to understand the relationship is so important. That is why God is challenging us. Hallelujah. Revival has just started only. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Revival started. He's stirring our hearts but more and more of him. More spending time so that whatever Jesus has done, he is giving the authority for us to do it. And here we can see that if you look at uh, uh, Jesus, can you look Mark chapter 1, 27? Mark chapter 1, 27. And they were all amazed so that they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with authority commands he even the unclean spirits, and they do obey him. Praise the Lord. Jesus, authority people saw and said, What authority? This is the same authority as given to us. Whatever authority God given. Let's read Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. And God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moves on the earth. In e on every living thing that is moving, anything, visible or invisible, God has given in, when he created Adam and Eve, the authority to rule over. But what happened? Amen. This authority has come from God. And God has given authority at the same time he said, you can eat everything in this garden except one. He has told. So we need to understand who gave us authority. Authority come from God and God alone. If the government gives you authority to kill and murder, huh? to abort the baby, that is not by God. We cannot, it is life. We cannot, that is not from the Lord. We cannot, hallelujah, change that because of our choice. Because God's authority that God given, also given according to the word of God. Anything other than the word of God, anybody say, it is not from God. And we are children of God. 
was supposed to go and be obedient only according to the word of God. Even uh, submit to a husband. But husband say, come on. I wanted to drink and party and do all those things. Go and get me some alcohol or eh? get ready. You can say, no. In my house, you cannot do that. Even children, if your, your dad or parents are telling something other than the Lord, you can say no. According to the word of God, you are not supposed to do that. Even boss asks you to do something. Even if it seems that your job is going to be affected, be it. That is what, how the God's authority and the power came. Hebrew brothers, the three of them, they said, if you are not going to bow before the image, you will be thrown into the fire. Our God can save. But whatever whether he save or not, we are not going to bow. Hallelujah. Because they knew the authority is not the king. And whatever the authority is come from God and God alone. And when you stand according to the authority of God, God will work in you and me. And God is very uh, specifically taken me to Elijah. Let us look at 1 King chapter 17, verse 9 and 10. We need to understand God is teaching how to operate the spiritual authority. Because before we go in that, I wanted to uh, get into Revelation, verse 1, verse 17. Why I am going there, God is taking me there. The reason, Revelation 1, 17. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. Ah. And he laid his right hand on me, saying to me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. Mm. Next verse. I am he that lives and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. I have the keys of hell and of death. Praise the Lord. The authority that we have, he has been lived. He died. He resurrected. He conquered the death. Hallelujah. The authority we need to understand. Unless we experience the authority, we can't over, without overcoming, we cannot use the authority. The Jesus authority is given. Whatever father authority given to son, he, hallelujah, operated. He won the victory. Now it is our time. The one and victory, the same power has given to us so that we are not uh, defeated. We are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ. So that we can use the same authority. Once we win the victory, we can use it to uh, help others. Unless, you know, we are not going to win the battle, we cannot use uh, to others. We are always defeated. Even though, eh, in the name of Jesus, get rid of the fear, anxiety, depression. All those oppression of the powers of the darkness is ruling your life. You are not able to overcome. How can you tell? That is why church comes in very important. When you cannot overcome, call the church. We are together. Hallelujah. Church is to equip the saints. <laughs> And to be get ready to, hallelujah, empower us to do God's work. Hallelujah. We cannot be living a defeated life. We have to live a victorious life through Jesus Christ. That is why, because he said, John, I am the one who lived. I am the one who did. I overcome death. I am the Alpha and Omega. Hallelujah. I have the key of the David. When you, hallelujah, I'm giving that authority to you. Whatever you bind in this earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loosen in this earth will be loosened in heaven. Hallelujah. He has given the key to us. So we need to, hallelujah, see 
some victory in our own life. God is teaching Elijah. Hallelujah. Oh, we need to understand that is why he need to call uh, the nation and the whole nation under the uh, oppression of the bass. You know, there during the time because of Jezebel. Jezebel is worshipping. And in her own, you know, uh, uh, palace itself. Keeping them. Feeding them. And they are uh, uh, that whole powers of the darkness over. To overcome the powers of the darkness, God is equipping and, you know, training Elijah to be a great uh, prophet. Hallelujah. To bring back the fire down. Hallelujah. He is, God is when first hiding in Kent. Hallelujah. First stage. Hallelujah. He's the Jewish man, me, I am a Jewish man, I am the prophet who said all those, God was making him humble. By what? Sending a raven, unclean bird, whatever God gives, you know, okay God, you know, being a Jew, God is humbling him to eat every day from the mouth of the ravens. Your tradition need to come down. Hallelujah. Every barriers need to come down. Whatever God says, we need to be obedient. And you should not leave. Carry. You have to stay. Hallelujah. Hide there. God is feeding. God is keeping you. Don't try to run away. It's very important when Kerry, the water, uh, you know, he knows the water is drying because a lot of birds are going off. He had a lot of company of birds around. Suddenly, they all are taking off. Oh, they are taking off. He didn't go. Oh, let me also go around and look where is any other water is there. Did he look around? God said to stay there. Stay there. If God said, be still and know I am God, we need to be still till God moves. Hallelujah. We need to try to help God. Huh? In case God missed some, uh, some carried somewhere here, some water somewhere here. Some brook here. Let me help him. Don't go around looking. If God told him there, when it fully dry, well, dry up, God will give you direction. You may not hear it. Till every drop. Maybe all the birds are flying off. You see every, everything is drying around you. Don't worry. As long as something is coming, hallelujah, you wait for next voice. Till then, he didn't hear anything. Some of you, God is telling, some of the things are drying up. You wondered, where is your provision coming? How you going to be taken care of it? God said, when it fully dry, he will provide. Open the door for you. Hallelujah. Next step. Hallelujah. Sarafa. Sarafa, the word meaning. Suddenly I was thinking, why the importance of Sarafa? Next stage is Sarapas is a place called place of trial. Place where your death happened. Your flesh, everything. Now, you know, it's a place of trial by the furnace, by the, it is a fiery place, it's called. God send you there, hallowed through fiery furnace. You know, why? God is making him a prophet. Greater prophet. Hallelujah. There, in the, under the nose of Sarephath, is the headquarters of uh, Jezebel's. Baal prophets all are in there. Hallelujah. God keeping under the nose of the enemy. Hallelujah. Why? You, he is getting ready to challenge this prophets of Baal. So he is keeping next to them. Hallelujah. How you use your authority. I have commanded you a widow. Hallelujah. God commanded the raven. Raven was coming. So he didn't have much work. You know, God commanded. So ravens only had a problem of obeying and, you know, getting the uh, meat and coming. I always thought in the famine time, where did the raven, go, uh, this uh, ravens got uh, or a bird got uh, meat? 
It must be, must be from Ahab palace. To steal food, raven is the best bird can steal and bird or fly off. Why God, you know, ravens, they know how to steal and bring it. Hallelujah. From the God's palace, from the king's food, Elijah has been fed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Steal for just for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Give it to your hand to be fed. Hallelujah. Not only Sarapath, now he can't see anything. Now he has to authority use. Hallelujah. Amen. Just what authority? What God said. I have commanded you a, vid a widow. He has no clue what which widow. I commanded a widow. Hallelujah. Then the Holy Spirit has to be completely. He's seeing a woman picking up the sick. He must be directed by the Holy Spirit. Said, woman, hallelujah, get me some water. You know, so on the way going, I said, get me uh, some bread also. Hallelujah. And she, he had to obey and the person who has to obey. Oh. God's provision, the person you are of authority, Elijah, what he said, need to be obeyed, and people who are listening also need to obey. Be believe. Hallelujah. Widow has to do it, and Elijah, the combination of hallelujah. Faith works, hallelujah. Whoever believe, hallelujah. When you are speaking right now, in your situation, hallelujah, you say that, hallelujah. Oh, amen, hallelujah. God is telling something to, by faith, do it. You cannot see it, you cannot feel it, but you want to do it, and you are waiting for some provision, you are waiting for some door to open, but you just step out, God will, hallelujah, make sure, hallelujah. There you can see that. Amen. Sarapas was a training. The woman brought not only that, whoever came there, whole famine time, that oil was to come every day. When she was going there, oil was there. But that is not the thing. Elijah, next authority, using not only for provision, the woman's son is dying. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. God is making and using, uh, teaching, hallelujah. Suddenly, amen, the son is dying, had, had died, and coming and blaming on because of you, it is happening. Hallelujah. This is the time, the authority. She is using the authority. He is using the authority. Hallelujah. Amen. Life and death. After that only, he is telling the her king, bring everybody. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. He is asking Ahab. Uh, he met the uh, prophets. Go and read the chapter 18, 17 and say that. Oh, uh, he knew that it is ready for the, oh, to face the spiritual warfare. God is training your faith, training you to believe on the word, what God has promised. Even though you cannot feel it, you cannot see it, can you believe it? Hallelujah. God is hallelujah because your faith should be how? In uh, uh, Ephesians chapter 6, it should be able to, your faith of shield should be what? Can you read 16? 6, uh, 17, I think. Above all, taking the shield of faith, which you shall be able to quench all the fiery tats of the wicked. Hallelujah. Your faith. What is the faith? Faith that you are believing. God said, I don't care what enemy, whether Baals or any other powers of the darkness. I don't care what the powers or how strong it is. I choosing to believe the word of God. That faith that able to overcome every quench all the fiery tarts of the enemy. Hallelujah. How many fiery tarts you are getting these days? Hallelujah. But this type of faith, what type of faith? God has given authority over everything. 
or you are commanding to the powers of the darkness. Hey, powers of the darkness, you played enough with my family, my marriage, my financial situation. Enough is enough. I am putting my feet down and hallelujah because I know who I am. I know who God is. I lift up my heels upon the hill, upon the, I lift my eyes upon the hills where my help comes from. My help comes from the Lord who created heaven and earth. The one who created. Remember, everything has been with one word, with one authority. Let there be light as formed. So God can just one word say in your situation, can come and hallelujah, happen. You believe that? It then takes only one minute. Hallelujah. Where there is nothing God can create. If you believe it, let's close our eyes. Hallelujah. Who has given you the authority? We can do in your situation. Hallelujah. Doesn't matter how bad it looks like. Doesn't matter. Hallelujah. What doctors have told you. What doesn't matter. Hallelujah. How you feel. What you are seeing around. You know who gave us the authority. Who? Hallelujah. Authority which conquered the death and the life. And hallelujah. With that authority. Oh, child of God, if you are walking with the Lord, you have a right standing with the Lord, you have that authority. Speak into the situation. You speak. Oh, the speak the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. You will hallelujah, hear the dry bones coming into life. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for reminding us. Guard the armor of God. We need to put on the armor of God. Above all, above all the armor, we need to have a faith. Faith to believe. When we speak, when we have authority, we speak into the things. God, you have given authority to tread over the serpents, to scorpions, all the powers of the darkness. Nothing can harm us. We thank you, Lord, for the authority of the all the earth, of the all the heavens. You have given us, hallelujah, not only overcome the trials, uh, by that, hallelujah, manifest power so that the Gentiles. Jesus, uh, or oh, those who don't believe the name uh, and the power of the name of the Jesus, uh, going to see, uh, oh, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, oh, things are, hallelujah, happening, uh, hallelujah, oh, that's every power, yokes of the enemy, Satan, uh, every things that have been bound, uh, be broken, God is setting you free, my dear, hallelujah. Setting you free, your dear ones. Setting you free, your husband. Setting you free, your wife. Setting you free, your children. Hallelujah. Every financial crisis, uh, he is opening door. Uh, because Jehovah Jireh is your, his name. Uh, Jehovah Rapha, he is your healer. His name is upon you. Hallelujah. And thank you, Lord, for the authority and the power that you have given us. The same authority that you gave to your son. Lord, Father, you are giving us by seating us in the heavenly places. And Lord, Father, hallelujah, you're redeeming us by your blood of Jesus. You have forgiven our sins. You are cleansing us and giving us the power to become your children. And Lord, Father, not only children, heir of yours. Every, hallelujah, authority that you are giving to us. Recognizing the authority, God, help us to go, go and disciple other, to speak, uh, to be a witness for you, Jesus. So help us, Lord, these days with the authority to go out, uh, to lay hands on the sick, uh, to cast the demons uh, and set the people captives free in your name of Jesus. Thank you for knowing the time and the hour. You are reminding us and Lord anointing us and sending us. And Lord Father, help us to be obedient to your call and to your commission. And to see a great harvest these days. 
thank you, thank you, Lord. And we give you all the glory, honor to you and you only, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.